Throwing axes at targets is a sport that goes back hundreds of years, but recently it's becoming commercialized, making a comeback. Starting tomorrow, people here in the East will be able to try their hand at hatchet throwing as Stumpy's Hatchet House opens tomorrow coming up in Uptown Greenville. Our Zach Maskovich has that story. Welcome to Greenville's newest business, Stumpy's Hatchet House. It's very primal and organic, and it's darts, but darts on steroids. It's a lot of fun. Stumpy's is the largest indoor axe throwing company in the United States with venues all over the country. Their newest location on Dickinson Avenue in Greenville. And Stumpy's arrived in the East thanks to a family tie to the Ford and Shep restaurant. Came for their soft opening of their restaurant, saw this little uptown district fell in love with it, really saw the potential here. And we saw potential for a good time, got ourselves a tour and a lesson. We have eight pits total. Each one has a different unique name. We have Pit Street, Arm Pit, Brad Pit, Pirate Pit. We also have four pits in the back. Depending on the size of your party that you make a reservation for, we'll place you so that you have room. Throwing the hatchet, is you want to make one revolution before yeah. it sticks. So it takes most people 10 or 15 times. Everybody's walking in on an even playing field. People just don't throw hatchets these days. Um, it's so safe. We allow BYOB. You can bring beer, bring wine, you can bring in food or have food delivered. It's time to throw these hatchets now. Absolutely. Uh, you can show me a couple, some different techniques and then uh, we'll, we'll take a test of the board here. We'll explain the throwing zone here is 12 to 15 feet. Depending on your throwing style, you may have to come forward or backwards. It's not about strength, it's just about learning that throw. And uh, then we'll teach everybody two throws. Both overhand, we have a one-handed and a two-handed throw. There that would be a four-pointer. Not quite a bullseye, but got four points if we're playing to a game of 21 on that one. So how do the points work here? All right, so we have a bunch of different games. One of the most popular is 21. Five points, four points, three points, two points, one point. What are these dots out here? So if you're losing in the game of 21, the, the whoever's ahead can't do this, but if you're losing, you can call your next shot as a lucky seven and go for one of these. And if you call it and you're behind and you hit it, you get seven points. So it's a way for somebody that's trailing okay. in a game to do a comeback. Cool. All right, let's see what I got here. All right. I'm going for a lucky seven here. Which lucky seven do you like? I go for the top right. Top right, all right. Let's see what we got here. I'm too competitive right. to not try that again. Nice! You got it. Let's try something a little easier, a regular bullseye. Nice! There we go. For bullseye, Ooh. you come over here, Zach. What we do here? Ring this bell. Every time you get a bullseye, go crazy with it. That's how we do it at Stumpy's.